In this video, I'm going to clean out the dust inside my computer. In the process, I'll go over why it's important you do this ritual once in a while, the tools needed, some do's and don'ts, and give you five tips on how to minimize the amount of dust that goes inside. I built this PC about a year and a half ago, and it's starting to collect a decent amount of dust, especially the area around the fans. If you want to learn how to build your own PC, click the card up here for a step-by-step -step video tutorial. I'll also add a link to it in the description below. This is a high-end custom PC build, and yours, whether a Mac or a PC, may not look like this, or you may not even see the inside depending on the case panel you have. But trust me, there's dust on the inside. Anyway, kind of like spring cleaning for your home, you should perform this activity at least once a year. And the reasons are, well, it's nice looking at the inside of a clean computer if you have a clear case. More important than that, you're allowing for a better circulation of airflow to help keep the components cool, which directly translates into better performance overall. Another reason is the longevity of the internal computer components. Dust is a major factor in contributing to the defects of those components. By doing regular cleanings, you'll minimize the malfunctions and the need to replace set components. Let's talk about the tools you need to get the job done. You're going to need the following items, a screwdriver, a canister of compressed air, an anti-static wrist strap, some wipes or a damp cloth, and a mask. It shouldn't be difficult to find one lying around these days. Definitely use one, not because of a virus, but to help protect yourself from harmful dust particles, especially if you're allergic to such things. No, not that kind, just a regular mask. You'll also probably want to get an anti-static wrist strap to protect the internal components from you. Yes, that may happen, and you may end up frying the components. I don't wear one though. Just make sure you don't rub your feet on a carpeted surface and always make sure to touch some metal object to release possible static buildup before handling the components. Always back up your data in case something happens to your storage media drives. Better be safe than sorry. Next, you'll need a can of compressed air for the dusting. These cost a few bucks. You'll also need an anti-static cloth or some wipes to wipe down the various components and other areas. Finally, a screwdriver to remove the case panels or internal components. I don't need this for my case as I have a key for it and the panel opens like a door. I'll add a link in the description below to all the items I talked about. Before I get started, here's a list of some do's and don'ts to follow. Do power down your computer and unplug all cables. Never attempt to do this while the computer is on or the cables are plugged in. Take your computer outside, maybe your garage or balcony. If done in the same room as your computer, the dust will find its way back over time. Hold fans in place when dusting to prevent them from rotating so they don't kick the dust back inside the case. Don't use a vacuum cleaner. There's going to be a lot of static and you may damage the components. Don't use a hair dryer. Same reason. Never shake or tilt the air canister upside down or sideways when using it. It will spray the compressed liquefied form of the air. Always make sure it's in an upright position when spraying. Now comes the fun part of this video. This is the Thermaltake Level 20 GT, which is an ATX full tower. It's all modular and I can take it apart piece by piece. I removed the side, front, and top glass panels. I'm going to begin by tackling the area with the most dust first. That's the area around the front and top fans for me. Remember not to let the fans spin and to hold them in place with your finger as you're spraying. Keep the canister in an upright position and spray bursts instead of holding it down. Continue the process of blowing out the dust until you're satisfied. Okay, it's Father's Day. Have to wait. Bring me the cake over here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, not, uh, actually, take it back inside. Wait, let me zoom in on that. What does it say? Happy Father's Day. All right, take it inside. There's a lot of dust here. <laughs> I'll come in Bye. Bye. Once you blow out the dust, now you can start wiping it down. What? Taking a break? It's my cake anyway. On well, my day. Happy Father's Day, everyone. Depending on how much dust is inside, you may need to remove the components. I'll speed up the video for this part and we'll slow it down at interesting moments. Look at that. It's like working on your car. <laughs> There's no oil. It's all dirt and dust. You'd be surprised how much stuff is inside your computer. <laughs> 
still good. Once you're done wiping, plug everything back in to make sure you can power up the computer before you close the case panel in the event that you need to go back and secure something that was loosened. And we have liftoff. Here are five tips to help minimize the amount of dust that gets accumulated inside your computer. Use filters on your case panels. You saw how much dust was blocked from going inside by having a filter. Place your desktop computer on top of the desk. Hence the name desktop. If you have it on or near the floor, dust and other debris from foot traffic and vacuuming are much more likely to be present there. Place your work area away from doors and windows, which tend to draw dust towards them. Keep pets away and no smoking. Pets and smoking are major contributors to dust accumulation. Keep the environment around the room clean. Regular maintenance of the floor and wiping down shelves will help minimize the amount of dust that can make its way inside your computer. Note that I said these tips are to minimize and not eliminate dust from accumulating. Some amount of dust will make its way inside a computer no matter how religiously you follow these tips. So do one of these cleanings once in a while. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you got value out of it, hit the thumbs up like button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of any new content I put out. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions. And also let me know when was the last time, if ever, you cleaned out your computer from the inside. I'll check you up later.